All right, so today I'm going to be talking about experimental error. This is through the lens of chemistry, but it can also be done in any lab in any science classroom. And it's just going to be the actual minus the theoretical divided by the theoretical. And then take the absolute value of that times 100. This is to get your percent. So how does this look like in a chemistry lab? So if I theoretically calculate using um, stoichiometry that I should get 100 grams of something, but I only produce 89 grams, I'm going to subtract that, and then I'm going to divide by my theoretical, 100 grams. I'm going to take the absolute value of that, I'm going to multiply it by 100, and that's going to give me a number. So I'm going to do that with my phone calculator here. I'm take 89 minus 100. I get negative 11. I'm going to divide this by 100. I get this number. I'm going to take the absolute value of it, so 0 0.11, and just times 100. 0 0.11 times 100. And that's going to give me 11. So 11% 11 would be my experimental error. Um, so that's just how to do it. Remember, actuarial. Act Actual minus theoretical over theoretical. This is usually your theoretical is calculated, and then your actual is what is measured. Um, so yeah, it's experimental error.